and welcome back to another edition of ProTech. Today we're going to talk about symptoms of vacuum pump failure that are often misdiagnosed as a failure of another part. Before we get into the symptoms of vacuum pump failure, let's quickly go over what a vacuum pump does. As its name states, the vacuum pump creates vacuum, which is used to regulate emission levels, control timing advance, operate HVAC controls, and provide power brake assist. Large gas engines produce enough vacuum on their own to perform vehicle functions, but smaller gas engines don't produce enough vacuum and need the assistance of a vacuum pump. Diesel engines don't produce any vacuum and therefore also require a vacuum pump. Now, when a vacuum pump fails, the result can often lead to confusion in determining the cause of the problem. Drivers generally report symptoms such as hard brake pedal and difficulty bringing the vehicle to a stop, climate control problems with a default to windshield defrost, lack of acceleration or a rough idle, and a check engine light that won't go off. When dealing with a vehicle exhibiting these symptoms, the quickest, most effective way to diagnose the problem is to check the vacuum pump with a gauge. Some people make the mistake of merely checking the hose for suction, and that's not a true indicator of proper vacuum. There must be at least 18 inches of mercury in sufficient volume to produce the necessary vacuum to properly support vehicle functions. We've spent just a few minutes today going over some basic vacuum pump education. In the time it took you to watch this video, you could have made a quick diagnosis of a faulty vacuum pump, possibly saving hours of wasted time replacing other vehicle components in search of the problem. I hope this information has been beneficial to you. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you on our next edition of ProTech.